Okay, let's solve this problem. The base of a solid is an isosceles right triangle with equal legs measuring 12 centimeters. Each cross section perpendicular to one of the legs or one of these legs is half of a circular disc. Find the volume of the solid. So, let us first illustrate what is described. So, it is said that the base of the solid is a right angled triangle. So, let's say this is the base of the solid and each equal side is 12 centimeters. So, this is 12 centimeters and this is 12 centimeters. Okay. And then, each cross section perpendicular to one of these legs. So, let's say uh, that would be this leg. Perpendicular to this leg, each cross section, so these cross sections is half of a circular disc. So if we draw that in three dimensions, that would be, let's say these are the two equal legs, this and this. This is the hypotenuse and that is 90 degrees, money. So uh, the 12 centimeters is this and also 12 centimeters is this. So our axis are this axis, vertical axis, dito. Then this axis and this axis, that axis. So let's just name this um, x axis, y axis, and z axis. <coughs> okay? So according to the problem, each cross section perpendicular to one of the legs, let's say um, this leg is this leg. And this leg is this leg. So if we draw a perpendicular cross section here, that would be this, right? So each cross section now is a semicircle. And right here is half of a circular disc with no radius. So that is just zero, no cross sectional area. So that means if we have this cross section, it would look like this. Okay? So the solid is like uh, it uh, resembles a cone na half lang, half of a cone. Okay? So, the solid is like that. Na imagine? Okay. Let us consider one of the slice. Let's say, let's consider, let's consider this slice. So, this slice has a thickness. What do you think is the thickness of the slice? Okay, again, uh, these are the positive sides of the axis. So, for the x-axis, this is positive x, y-axis, positive y, and z-axis, positive z. So, if we draw the solid, uh, yeah, if we draw the solid uh, using the y-z axis, so if we view that through the axis, it would look like this. So, this is positive y, positive z. That means this is this and this is this. Okay? Therefore, the solid or what you will be seeing is this and or that's a semicircle with radius 12 and also this this is 12 centimeters now uh, we could view this as this semicircle inside so this is the differential volume with diameter this one what would be this dia dia diameter since this is the y-axis so the diameter is y and the radius is, that's half of y. So the radius is y over 2. So if you isolate this differential volume, that is just a semicircle with thickness. Why is the thickness? With thickness dx because the thickness is along the x-axis. And with radius y over 2. So how could we now get the differential volume? Or how do we solve the differential volume looking at this or based on this based on the figure the differential volume is just the volume of half of the disc meaning half of the area of the circle with radius pi over 2 times the thickness so that's one half pi radius squared times thickness or 
the differential volume is pi over 8 y squared dx or we need to substitute y to a function in terms of x okay how so if we try to look at the the figure in the plane x y so for x y plane meaning this is x this is y it would look like this so along x that is 12 and along y is also 12 so it would look like this uh, it's a x y plane okay so this point is actually x y if that point is is x x y that means this distance is x and this distance is y so since this is 12 and this is also 12 that means x is equal to y because kung mag ratio proportion ta, if we use ratio proportion, that's x is to 12, this is to this, as this is to this. So, x is to 12, as y is to 12. So, therefore, x and y are equal. So, therefore, dv is equal to pi over 8 x squared dx. So, v is equal to pi over 8 integral of x squared dx from from what from x equal to 0 to x equals 12 because this distance is 12 right so from 0 to 12 so the volume now is equal to pi over 8 times x cubed over 3 from 0 to 12 so, the volume is equal to 12 cube over 3. The answer is 72 pi cubic units. That is the answer. Okay, let's try this problem. A 45 degree notch is cut to the center of a cylindrical log having radius 20 centimeters as shown in the figure. So that 40 or I mean 45 degrees is this, this, okay? One plane face of each notch is perpendicular to the ax to the axis of the log. What volume of wood was removed from the log by cutting the notch? Okay. So let's take this as the axis of the log. Oh, no, no. Um, let's consider an axis here passing through the center of the log and to that edge of the notch okay and let's also take another vertical axis passing to the center of the notch of the log so right about there okay imagine so let's also take another axis perpendicular to or axis are here, right here. So let's name this as x axis this time. Okay, right? Then an x axis. Or, okay. Okay, let's name this as x axis, z axis, then this as y axis. So what if we draw the x y plane? What would be? Uh, how would the notch look like? So if we draw the x y plane. This is x, this is y, it would look like this. That is visualizing at the xy plane. How about we visualize at the xz plane? So how would it look like? That is just a semicircle. So let me draw a circle here. So the notch will look like this, visualizing from the x, z plane. So this would be 20 centimeters, and this is also 20 centimeters. So if you combine these two views, um, since this is the z axis, the y axis, the x axis. Okay, so visualizing this using the a certain perspective. So at the x z plane that's just a semicircle 
So that would be this. So the base is a semicircle. The base is a semicircle. Um, the log will have a shape like this, then like that. But the, the wedge or the notch is like that. Okay. By the way, this should be broken po di rin. Kina naman siya sa sulod. Okay, broken na lang natin. Ayan. So, if we cut a section, it would look like, it would look like a right triangle. Let's say this section. Hmm, kuto di rin. This section. Okay. With thickness, or that slice, this is X, this is Y. The thickness is perpendicular that's dz the thickness is dz right so this distance here is x this distance is x and this distance is simply y by the way this is just straight yeah, no? this distance is just y so that means if we draw this slice here it would be right here diba? And this is x, I mean this is y, and this is x. So it's since it's 45 degrees, we could just safely say that x is just equal to y. <coughs> okay? Ana. So what I mean is, Kanisha, this area is this. How about here? How would we visualize that here? That is simply a strip, right? The slice, ito yung mga slice niya. These are the slices. So, that would be this. Right? So, okay. Uh, let's just take this as somewhere right at this quadrant na lang para pwede natin siya ilagay sa first quadrant dito. Okay? So, it just look like, looks like this. Wherein, the thickness is dz. That would be this. That would be this thickness. Or, this thickness and this point now this point now is x z and since this is a semicircle we could uh, use the equation x squared plus z squared equals 20 squared because the radius is 20. remember this is our slice our slice is a right triangle wherein this is equal to x this is equal to y with thickness dz. So how would we compute now the differential volume or the volume of the slice? That is just the area multiplied by the thickness. So how do we compute the area? Area of a right triangle. One half base and side multiplied by the thickness. And since x and y are equal, then we could just say that dv is one half x squared dz and what is now x squared equal to one half 400 minus z squared that would be from here transpose z to the other side 200 squared but i mean 20 squared is 400 minus z squared times dz so therefore the volume is just one half times 400 minus z squared times dz so that would be from negative 20 to positive 20 or whether rain we'll just start from here 0 to 20 then just multiply by 2 but since ito na yung nagawa nating formula then we'll just start from here from negative 20 to positive 20 so the answer is 16,000 over 3 cubic centimeters that is the volume of the notch